here are four things you can do to reactivate your Instagram account. My name is Lisa Renee Hall, and I help highly sensitive people and deep feelers explore unconscious biases so that they stand on the side of justice and become better ancestors all while protecting their energy. I am standing on the banks of the Credit River. It's a little bit of it right there. So pretty, so pretty. And I thought I would uh, take a moment just to share with you an update on some action items that you can take that I did that helped reactivate my Instagram account. In a previous teaching, I shared that my account on Instagram was deactivated due to suspicious login activity. And you can watch that teaching to see what were the circumstances and what happened and one of the big lessons I've learned. And so if you've had your account deactivated and it's no longer available in the search results, I'm going to give you four things that you can do to help reactivate your account. Now, I'm going to share these four things with you. I'm looking at my notes so I don't forget. But I'm sharing these four things with you with um, a few caveats, a few warnings. The first is that what I, what has, what worked for me may not work for you. There's no guarantee. So keep that in mind as you go through these four steps. Uh, number two, the other caveat is that I don't have capacity to to evangelize on your behalf so if you've done these steps and they're not working uh, calling me in to try to help I, I don't have any capacity to do that so what you're gonna have to do is call in your community and that's actually one of the steps that I will share in a moment another caveat if you've been deactivated on Facebook TikTok, Snapchat I have no idea how to reactivate on those accounts on those platforms no idea so what I offer is specifically for Instagram. And finally, the other caveat is that this advice is specifically if you know that you haven't done anything unethical on the platform, that you weren't um, being reported for harassment or, or um, hate speech or anything of that nature. Uh, if you're running a troll farm, there's someone, when I was doing my research to find out how I can reactivate my account, I found someone who was managing 2,500 Instagram accounts and I was awestruck and so if you're running a whole bunch of accounts so that you control people you know this advice is not for you this is specifically for you if you got this suspicious logging activity warning you were given 24 hours a cooling period for 24 hours you're frozen out of your account for that time and then when you log back in you were told you were deactivated there is an article I found, there's two blog posts I found that uh, offer some additional advice. One is um, outdated, but I'll link to it anyway so you can see whether or not um, you can use that to help in your research. And then there was another blog post that I found that said that if you were to do something with your Wi-Fi, turn it off and then use your data or something along those lines. But I'll link to that article as well. So again, those might be able to, both, both of those resources may be able to give you some additional tips on what to do. As I said in my previous teaching, losing access to your Instagram account, you are allowed to feel all the feels, no matter what it is, whether it's anger, um, frustration, sadness, you're allowed to feel all the feels because you've lost something and it's akin to grieving. So don't let anyone say that you're not permitted to do so. But I'm going to give you the four steps that I took in order to reactivate my account. Again, it may or may not work for you. I offer this because when I was doing my research, I didn't really find much by way of solutions on what I could do. And I was learning as I was going. So I, I think that if you can have this as a resource, then instead of learning as you're going, you have specific actions you can take. All right. So step number one in what I did to get my Instagram account reactivated is that I announced on my other Instagram account that something was wrong. I have a personal Instagram account and that was the one that was deactivated and then I have one for my brand. And so on my brand Instagram account, 
a message was sent out saying that Lisa had been deactivated. And most of my followers who follow that other account started to see it and then started to get into action. So if you have another brand account that you've been actively using, post something there. The second thing you can do to help reactivate your account is to create a backup account. If someone goes to the search results and searches for your account, the one that's been deactivated, they're not gonna find it. So by creating a backup account with that same name in it, same name in the username, then at least when people do a search, they'll find something that is associated with you. So what you can do is, what I did is my personal, my account that was deactivated was Lisa Renee Hall. I created a new account called Lisa Renee Hall Backup. And on that, I added some information to let people know, yeah, it's my account, hello, it's me. And I'm using this because my other main account had been deactivated. So you wanna add some information, add a few posts, to let people know that no, this is not a spam account, this is actually me. It's just I'm creating this backup because my main account had been deactivated. The other benefit to creating a backup account is that should your other account never be reactivated again, which unfortunately has been the case for many people, at least you would have started rebuilding your, your presence on Instagram through the backup account. If you don't want to use backup at the end of your username, so for example, for me, it was Lisa Renee Paul backup, you can use uh, underscore. There is another account by the name of Decolonize. He had his account deactivated. It never came back. So what he did is he created a backup. And it was decolonized with an underscore at the end. So you can get pretty creative, but the, the key here is to make sure that the backup account contains the name of your previous account that had been deactivated. So at least when people go to search, they can find something that's related to you. All right. Now the third thing is through that backup account, start calling in your people. Call in your peeps. And again, as I mentioned before, you want to populate that backup account with a few posts that gives the information, gives the background and tells people what is happening. If you're calling in your peeps, they want to know that they're being called into something that's legitimately a problem. And so as, if you can give as much information on one or two of the posts, then that's great. Now, just note, and this is something I ran into, is that because your backup account is brand new, there's a lot of things you're not going to be able to do and you're going to get restricted. So if you post too many posts in like an hour, you're going to get a message saying this is uh, that action has been restricted to protect our community or something along those lines. One of the things I try to do is create comments. So I created a post saying, this is what's happening, help me. And then I created a comment and with tags to some of my friends to let them know what's happening. But I was, by the time I posted the fourth comment with a few tagged names in it, I got a message saying, you've been restricted. <laughs> so. So this is what this is the crummy part about setting up backup is that now you're brand new and as a result a lot of the actions you may have been used to with your account that had been deactivated you know you're not going to have those same features however it's still a good idea to create that backup account call in your peeps and when you're calling your peeps this is the fourth action you can take and this is something i didn't know until people started showing up into my comments and said, oh, that happened to me and this is what I did. And then my account was restored within a week or within two days, or in my case, it was within um, 48 hours, which is two days. But the fourth thing you can do to deactivate, not deact, you don't want to deactivate. No, no, no. The fourth thing you can do to reactivate your Instagram account is to use the reporting feature and ask your people, your community, to fill out the report a problem form. Now, the way they do this is they go to their profile. Okay, so they don't report a problem through your backup account. Your people, your community, your network, they have to go to their own profile, go to the settings, and I think the option is help or support or one of those. And then you should see an option that says report a problem. Click on that 
And when they fill out the form, the problem that they're reporting is that your main account was deactivated. So don't have them report that the backup account is the problem. That's not, no. Your, the, your previous account, your main account has been deactivated. So that's the username that you want your, your network to use when they fill out the form. So in my case, people who came to Lisa Renee Hall backup and saw, hey, please go fill out the form and report a problem. Someone tried to click on report a problem through my backup account. No, 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 don't do that. So I had to instruct them, no, you go to your account, go to your page, then click on the hamburger, the three lines, then click on um, the, the settings, then go to help or report a problem and so on. And then fill out the form and let them know that at Lisa Renee Hall had been deactivated and that's the problem that you're reporting, that it had been deactivated by mistake. So if you do these four things, again, no guarantee that your account will come back up, but as has been reported by those who've had their reports deactivated, they said that your network can keep reporting the problem. They can send as many reports in, they can fill in that report form as many times as they desire. And hopefully through community action, your community, you will be able to fire back up that account again. So those are the four steps I recommend you take. And good luck and um, stumble bravely. <laughs>